Hey, this is Doug for Roundhome DIY, and in preparation for our next workbench project, I thought I'd organize the shop a bit by making a few clamp racks from some scrap pieces of MDF. This first pair of racks will hold 12 smaller F-style clamps each. I started by cutting pieces of 3 quarter inch MDF to length and width of the table saw. Then I marked where the mounting screws will go on the back piece, as well as the back of each slot on the top piece. Next I drilled holes in the top using a bit that was just a little bit bigger than the width of the bar on the largest clamp. And after tracing the lines for the slot, I then cut them out on the bandsaw. Once that was finished, I cleaned up the bottoms of the slots with a file and some sandpaper. Assembly was pretty simple. I ran a bead of glue along the top of the back piece and used several two inch nails and my nail gun to attach the top to the back. I then countersunk and pre-drilled holes for the mounting screws and rounded over the front edges a bit with the sanding block. To finish the racks, I used a couple of coats of spray paint and then mounted them to the wall with a pair of cabinet screws. The next rack is just a longer version of the first that will hold 14 large F-style clamps, including Bessie K-body parallel clamps. The main difference is here, we're using the larger drill bit size to start the slots, using heavier duty mounting screws, and having to use the jigsaw to cut the centermost slots as the back was a bit too long to fit through my bandsaw. Since the bar widths on these clamps were a bit different, I oversized the slots a little and added small pieces of felt pads used to protect hardwood floors from furniture. This worked quite well, but another option would be to simply glue a thin strip of wood or hardboard to the front edge to make a lip prior to cutting out the slots. The final rack, which holds 12 to 14 quick clamps, is a little different as these clamps don't fit into the F-clamp style racks. I cut the back and sides of the table saw and then beveled the front edge of the sides a bit at the bandsaw. Next I used a 5 8 inch Forstner bit at the drill press to make a half inch deep hole in the sides to hold a piece of dowel. To finish the assembly, I used a bit of glue and a clamp for a few minutes before attaching the sides to the back with a few nails. And after a little more spray paint, it was time to move all the clamps off the floor and into their new homes. If you're interested in making something similar, there are free plans for all three versions on our website. And I'd like to thank all of our subscribers. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe here and on Instagram for details on our upcoming Rubo style workbench builds. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below.